Hello everybody and welcome. So if you have an RV, 99% chance you have one of these. And I don't mean just a key. I mean a CH751. Almost every single manufacturer uses these and I can almost guarantee you nine out of the ten people in the RV park with you have a key just like this that will get them into your baggage doors pass-through storage whatever the case may be so today we're going to play a little uh, what's in the box and see if we can't remedy this situation all right so what's in the box just from the outside you can't really tell unless you can see the address label which I'm not going to show you because it has my address but it is from Industrial Lock and Hardware Incorporated. Uh, not an affiliate, nothing to do with them. I just know they make an awesome product. And uh, I mean, if you want me to, I will gladly talk to you about that. But um, I did purchase these with my own money and uh, I have not opened this up yet. I do know what is in it, but uh, let's just get right on into actually opening the box. Okay, so in the box, you get your invoice. We'll set that to the side. And we get some packing paper with the important box inside of that. And this is the all-one lock and key system. I did get the electronic door lock, but I also got three replacement baggage door locks. This will replace the two on my pass-through storage and the one on my outdoor kitchen. So ILH does have a guide on their website on how to size properly for what locks you need to replace. Uh, I'll link that in the description below, but basically you print it out. It has a one inch uh, measurement block. Make sure that that does measure exactly one inch. Otherwise your measurements are going to be way off. Uh, use it like a regular tape measure or something like that. And then you can actually hold it up to your lock that you have, which we'll get to in a minute. And you can see what size you need. It does offset of the uh, little... Uh, clip thing and the whole nine yards it they, they've really thought this through now what I did is I actually took my calipers and measured everything I didn't pull anything off the camper yet we're going to do that here in just a moment and we're going to be replacing these locks so I guess let me get on outside and we'll pick up over there all right so whenever you order your locks from uh, ILH if you do the all-one system, uh, if it's your first time ordering, you don't really have to do anything, uh, really. Uh, but if it's like the second or third time you're ordering a lock and you want it to all be keyed the same, they have a section on their order form where it says, key like my previous order. So just make sure that you order from the same email address that you ordered previously, and they'll match them up, no problem. But what I did is I went ahead and got three locks. Uh, it comes with three locks three uh, nuts, three, I'm guessing it's some kind of washers, and two keys. I'm not showing you the keys because, yeah, <laughs> keys are like passwords. Don't show them. Uh, but this came with two. Uh, I was kind of hoping it would come with more, but, you know, it'll be okay. Maybe the door lock came with four or something like that. So um, that's what you get th with that. And one we're working on is the outdoor kitchen first because lighting and all that kind of stuff it'll be a little bit easier for me to show you so let me uh, get you aimed that way all right so to replace the lock uh, you open up your baggage door and you'll probably have a little Phillips head screw like this so what you do is go ahead and loosen that and set that to the side you may or may not need it uh, I ordered extras with mine so it's not I don't think that I'll need them but I, I'm keeping them just in case 
and then you take your I'm just using channel locks you can actually get a socket that'll fit that but it's not hard just take it and break it and then once you break it loose it should just come off should be just finger tight all right and remember how the stuff comes off as I drop it and then you can pull your lock out all right and that is what it should look like when you get your lock out all right so installation is reverse of removal you'll take your new all one lock go ahead and put your finger grab thing on stick it back through then you can take your nut stick it on the back okay and then take your pliers tighten it down don't have to go too super tight with it it's tight enough then make sure it is in the unlocked position whatever you want that to be but it is easier to pay attention to how it was before and then put your screw back in it is keyed in a square okay so now we should be able to shut it okay so it's a little bit too loose so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off flip it over because I might have actually put it on upside down so don't be like me and take pictures before all right and there we go We now have an all one lock. There you go. All right, so that is how you install the baggage door locks on a travel trailer like this. Uh, as long as you have the twisty style, then you're good to go. So now we're going to be going from three keys for the trailer to two. One set of keys for all the doors and one key for my tongue lock, which we can cover in another video if you wanna see something like that. But next, let's go over here and do the actual entry door. Okay, so now we're going to be replacing this lock. This is just the standard RV lock. Uh, it has the deadbolt and the regular lock. So uh, we're gonna be replacing it with the all one lock. Uh, this is the electronic lock. I did go ahead and splurge on that. Uh, I want to say it was about $170 or something. Uh, but I have not seen many people use this one. I've seen a lot of people using the, I cannot remember the, other, the name of the other one. Uh, but they say the batteries die quick and also I kind of wanted one key for everything. And even though it has the keypad on it, uh, I kind of want to, I want to give this one a shot. So, uh, we're going to install it now so let's go ahead and take it out okay so first impressions on this lock it's actually very very well built uh it is the kind of outward handle style not the cuppy style um the inside has where you replace the batteries uh i don't know what kind it takes i'm gonna pro i'm gonna assume a couple double a's uh we'll get to that in a minute but uh this looks like a pretty well built lock so um let's get into the instructions and see what we got to do okay so step one is to remove your existing lock that's easy take your phillips head screwdriver and remove some screws all 
All right, so once you have the four screws out, you can go ahead and pull the plate off. Should just pull straight out. That is literally all there is to it. And then you can take the two screws for the strike plate. I mean, not the strike plate, but the latch plate. All right, take your latch plate off. And finally, take your lock, I mean, your uh, latch out. Okay, so now the instructions have us go ahead and place the exterior lock assembly with the keypad, that one, not the inside one, on the outside of the door and make sure that the plunger is done right and then install the latch plate. So that's fairly easy. Let's do that. Okay, so a tip whenever you're doing this, make sure that you pull your wiring through because it will get in the way. And you can kind of see here the holes line up. Better yet, I'll pull you in for a close up on that one. All right, so here is the holes lined up. And then you will take your plate, stick over that, and then put your screws in. Like that. Okay, so I got a little curious, and it actually comes with the battery pre-installed. Pretty nice, but this is an odd saw, odd sized battery. So I'll have to find out what size that is and let y'all know. Okay, so now you will take your inside handle and connect the power to this. It should only go one way. And then you can take your plastic pieces off here, set them aside. Kind of finagle your wires in and make sure that your deadbolt latch is seated properly. Okay, just double checking the operation of the latch. Okay, so that works as expected. All right, so now we will take our supplied screws and screw it in. Okay, now let's test the door operation. Oh, so nice. I don't have to slam it no more. And it is shut. Let me test it from the inside. Okay, so we have a little adjustment to do. It closes, but not all the way. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it out, the strike plate that came with it, see if that helps any. Let me bring you around here for that. All right, so whenever you replace your strike plate, this little lip right here needs to go on the outside edge, like so. All right, so let's try that. Okay, I need to move it out just a little bit more. All right, one more try. And from the inside. Alright, so there we have it. 
That is the installation of the ILH uh, keyless door lock. Uh, this is the all-one system, just like the rest of the locks. And uh, we actually have a handy dandy little keypad here to where we can program a code to where we don't have to have a key to get in. Very handy. So uh, I'm going to get to reading the instructions on that, get this thing programmed, and um, give it a try. We are headed out here in two days. So uh, I'll be able to test it out on the road and uh, I'll let you know how it does. So if y'all like this stuff, give it a big old thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, uh, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I do try my best to read every single comment uh, and I reply to the ones that I can. <laughs> but um, I love y'all's input. So let me know what you think about this and what you want to see for future videos. Um, we do this for y'all. So uh, I know it's been a lot of just me with mods, but uh, that's a lot of what we've been doing right now. So anyway, until the next time, y'all have a great day.